<laughs> yeah, it is. Come on, yeah. keep talking. Hey, you know yeah, what? So on, on tonight's episode of uh, <laughs> the Sticky Side, we have Are you gonna- ACL Pro <laughs> and the spouse of my co-host Rob Chismark, Miss April Chismark. How are you doing, April? I'm doing all right. Look, I just got to ask. Interesting you. show. <laughs> it, it, it really is because I want to start the show off with this question. Um, All right. Uh-oh. Um, you don't have <laughs> the answer is Rob. You can lie. Rob. You can lie on this very Rob. first question. Do you listen to any of the shows? You can lie. No. no? Okay. I'm not lying. All right. Yeah. Well, that's too bad. He wanted you to. Lie. I want to know. Oh. I want to. I want to know if you any hear, podcast. You don't listen to any. Okay. Well, after nope. tonight, you're gonna listen to at least one episode of this okay. one. I think. Um, I I don't think I will though. No, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. My, my friend wants to listen to it, but also she I'm, can I'm, listen for me. <laughs> I'm loving your honesty. I'm loving your honesty. So that being said, how much does Rob flirt with you at home? Is 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 there like the spark still going around the Chismark house? Rob flirts with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know this. When we, when we go out to eat, when we go to the grocery store, yeah. Sometimes he still flirts with me. He still tries to grope me. Well, I guess that's good. <laughs> you know, he tried to grope me in Chicago, so I know the feeling. Yeah. <laughs> what a liar! Uh, uh, liar. Oh, you see those girls dancing on the dance floor? I mean, that's, sometimes you grope when you see that kind of stuff. Well, then sometimes you probably get slapped. You get you that's get why I groped you, and then that's, you go to jail. That's why I groped you. <laughs> oh, so um, what what's going on, man? What what'd you do this weekend? Any cornhole? Um, we had a benefit raised like five thousand dollars for uh, SD Gunner Fund here locally. Um. At a benefit and crawfish boil. How about that? Oh, yummy! Crawfish boil. Oh yeah, yeah it was uh, pretty awesome. There was uh, there was I think altogether it was about twenty teams. We had two divisions. You know, didn't mm-hmm. didn't pay out tons of money, but brought in plenty. A couple of raffles, a couple of cool things. April April ran the tournament. I I I laid out some equipment. So uh. She did most of the. April, do you like running the events as opposed to playing in them? Yeah, usually. I want to get there and get done and go home. <laughs> so if I can make it run efficient, um, it's really hard sometimes with some drunk people. But the benefits, I don't want to be there all day long. I want to get there, get them some money, and get out of there and eat dinner before dark. By by drunk people, you mean Rob Chismark. <laughs> Um, yeah, I wasn't drunk. Though. No, he wasn't drunk because he had to drive <laughs> by himself because we rode separately. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then yeah. Sunday, April was on a roof all day at her parents' house. She was uh, slinging shingles for her brother. What? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were trying to re-roof her parents' house. So she was up there two stories high. A little bit of sun. <laughs> now, how, how did you get the shingles on top of the house? I know you didn't throw them over your shoulders and climb a ladder. They were already, already up, there. up there. Oh, they already they up there. They had them delivered. Had Rob, them delivered. Don't you know how that works? I don't do shingles, bro. I have no idea. I I hired <laughs> someone to reshingle my house. My insurance did it actually, so I didn't even pay for it. That's pretty sweet. Boom. Hail damage sounds like. Yeah. Um, Hail damage. I could so going back to like whether April likes to run the tournaments or or play in them. I kind of thought April. If you want, if a Chismark wants to win a tournament, it's got to be April playing, not Rob. Rob needs to sell the merch. Like, it seems like April's doing one. They can win a tournament. He puts me at the table, too, to sell merch. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I know. I I saw you last year at Spencer McKenzie. You were, um... You need um, need pretty girls to sell the merch the right way. Oh, is that right? Yeah, that's how it goes. Here we go. He's about to address you, Laura. Here it comes. (laughs) (laughs) Get ready for it. (laughs) <laughs> Look, he's so conditioned. He knows when I say pretty girl, something's coming out about TVL. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Mike, that's good. You're finally catching on. That's all it takes is a couple of sweet lines. 
I mean, I, I know lines. you already. This is like episode 34 or 35. I know where you're going <laughs> when when you say things now. So, no, you don't. I like, mean, still unpredictable. <laughs> no way. Still unpredictable. <laughs> um, so this weekend, yeah, you guys had a benefit and uh, five thousand dollars raised for a twenty team benefit. Man, that's pretty damn good. You know. Yeah. It was I mean, the, the, like I said, the crawfish boil helped out a lot too. There were that was forty dollars all you can eat, mm. and I think we did. There, there was I think she boiled like a hundred. I don't even know how many pounds of crawfish. It was unbelievable. She boiled all day long. She boiled so much crawfish that the smell stayed with me all night long, and I wasn't even near it. And it was like like stuck in my beard or something. It smelled like crawfish boil the rest of my night. I, I was I was like, what in the hell's going on? Took a shower, still didn't go away. Stuck in my nostrils. I don't know what the hell happened though. But, hey, <laughs> did cool. you check your armpits? It was awesome. <laughs> Well, I didn't smell like crawfish. What the hell? I mean, I don't know. Well, don't you ever been to a crawfish? Smell like fish? Never Have you mind. ever seen that? Oh my! <laughs> you ever been? To, uh -uh. <laughs> See, you're always saying the shit that makes her do that. <laughs> uh, all right, nah, man. So I want. I want to follow up on that flirtation question. Do you think that I'm flirting with Laura, or do you think I, that I'm just telling the truth about Laura? I think you're just telling the truth, but in a way, it, like subliminal flirt. So it's not overt. Ah, I like it. So it's not even flirting. Yeah, un undercover flirting. Yeah, but everybody can undercover see it. Flirting. So it's not. No. It's not that undercover. No. No. <laughs> uh, well, no, hey, look. Um, as you can see w by my hat, we got a little March Madness going on, and my boys are in the Final Four. I know April and Rob. You guys probably don't even watch basketball. Um, no. So, yeah. <laughs> but it's kind of a big thing here in North Carolina because we got Duke it's playing kind of North Carolina. Thing. Yeah, next Saturday. That's a big rivalry. I know that. I mean, I understand Ohio State, Michigan. I understand Duke, North Carolina. Yeah, I, I mean, the Celtics, Just... Lakers, Yankees, Red Sox. You know, this is probably one of the top ones, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Where's uh, So, where's the Final Four? Is going to be – where is the Final Four this year? In New Orleans. Indy? New Orleans. New Orleans. Okay. Yeah, New Orleans. Superdome? Yeah, I don't I believe so, yeah. Yeah. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah, I wish I going? could. I wish, man, you know. Um I'm I'm gonna be out of action this weekend, so nothing going on. I didn't even do cornhole this weekend. Um the ACL uh Eastern Conference or Carolina Conference, they had their um conference tournament this weekend. I wasn't able to attend that. Um not sure who won it. Uh, I don't know. I remember seeing Jamie Graham was playing, and I think Tyler Poitras came back and got third place. But I, I looked on the Facebook page and didn't see who won that event. But um, Laura and I went to this place in Virginia. It's President's Park. Saw that. Yeah, I saw like that. All these what were they? Fourteen to twenty foot president heads. Like busts. Yeah. It was yeah. Cool. Yeah. Really, really cool. Um. We might have that guy on Hammered, the guy that um does the tour there. We'll see. But uh, it was nice, you know. I didn't even know this place existed until Laura brought it to my attention. And, um, what, it said Williamsburg. Is that was it close to Williamsburg or where, where was it? It's in Williamsburg, right, Laura? Mm -hmm. Like right outside. We li we lived there for a few years. But, Ew, you know, I'm we sorry. never <laughs> we never saw that. But it's actually a pretty. Uh, hustle bustle in town with the bush gardens and all that, that was there it's a pretty nice little place yeah well I mean, that was the story we enjoyed with, it that was the story with president's park they said they built it right across from what was it water country or, and it did not get the tourists like they thought it was going to get so they couldn't afford to finance the park so they contracted the owner of the heads now they contracted him to pick them up and destroy them because he owns a excavating business and the owner was like i can't destroy these monuments you know on a good conscience so he just I think it was fifty thousand out of his own pocket to pick those monuments up and bring them to his uh property and you know years later he's charging for people to go out there and see it it's a pretty cool deal man how pretty many presidents are there are they are they significant in some um, it, way? He's got forty two of them out there, 
Uh, oh, okay. And he's got a little bitty Obama. Uh, I think he said that the guy that makes him is in his 90s. And he okay, is man. going to make a Trump and a Biden. But his, his girlfriend, who is 68, will not let him make a Trump. <laughs> because she's far left progressive, I guess. <laughs> like, no Trump. No Trump for you. The guy's in his 90s, though, and he's still doing this. It's crazy. But, yeah. Great. Yeah. So, April, tell us, um, how long have you been playing the game? What got you in the game? First off, you don't know. Let's just start this. How did you hook up with that guy? Um, we met when we were in the military. Um, we were at our school for our jobs, and... I really could not stand him the first time I met him. <laughs> <laughs> no way. What was it? <laughs> it hasn't changed. Don't don't let her fool you. That shit hasn't changed. <laughs> but yeah, he he lived upstairs from me, and we just hung out for a while, and finally he grew on me. <laughs> <laughs> like a like virus or. Like yeah, a little cancerous growth, a little bit of a, a little bit of a tumor. It was pretty cool. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So you guys dated all throughout. Um, it wasn't AIT because you guys weren't in the army, right? Tech no, scores, what we call them. Tech, Tech yeah, school. Air Force. Um, so you guys dated throughout. Then did you get stationed at the same? In Texas. Y'all got oh see I got stationed at the same duty station. Well, we got married first, and then oh. he was supposed to leave. And before we, they would let him leave, they made sure that we could both get orders to the same place. Oh, okay. So then we ended up in. He left before he was graduated before I did. Yeah. So hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you started before I did. <laughs> um, then we ended up in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Well, Hampton, Langley Air Force Base. Oh, okay. Well, um, so <laughs> when did the cornhole come into the lifestyle? That was like our third date. Third date? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the game. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. Uh, <laughs> As everybody um, we, blushes. About seven years ago. <laughs> about seven years ago, we started playing. Um, we had gone to a restaurant that had it, and we decided to try it out. And I was really, really bad, but we kept going. And um, I eventually could hit the board. <laughs> and now i am been a pro for four years. Wow, that's probably longer than Rob, right? <laughs> no, we started at the same time. <laughs> well, Rob's always giving you props. He he always says when we have this conversation that you uh, beat him every time y'all play in the backyard. And I was like, well, Rob, you should be a lot better. You should be a top-tier pro because you play against a pro every time you go in your backyard, you know. <laughs> and Rob's like, yeah, yeah. I'm so well, fortunate. She is. The good news <laughs> is she is a top tier pro because of the same reason. <laughs> so it's supposed to work <laughs> both ways. That means you guys are it, supposed to win fifty percent of your matches against each other. I mean, I, I mean, I've my percentage of win is so much higher right now. She's just kept. She's just catching up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He. <laughs> he wins it when it counts at the big tournaments. I just win in the backyard. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sure that's true. It is true. At the last, what? at the last national, we had to play, and he beat me. Well, then weren't you on a <laughs> uh, ACL live stream or something? I I could have swore I saw. Was it at yeah, the national? She, I was. That was uh, that was women's pro doubles. She was. Uh, she got all the way to third place in that one. So yeah, so I mean, she's working hard. There you go. She's Look. Good man. She's got a great women's partner. My cup. I, April, I've never seen Rob on a live feed or ESPN. 
I have seen him oh, on ESPN. On wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait. I've seen you on ESPN <laughs> once. It was because you were in the background standing behind Matt Guy. <laughs> on Sunday, on Sunday, I was on the live stream. I was on the Ultra Court. I don't know how you missed it. Oh, oh, really? Oh. Yeah, I was. I was. No, it was my partner. partner. It was a blind draw, and we beat Trey Birchfield and his partner in that game on the live stream. What? Here, oh my! Here, here's God. to you, bro. Look here's to you. That. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look that one up. <laughs> yeah, right. it's on the Ultra Court on Sunday at the Blind Draw at the ACL Pro National Number Two. Oh, I got lucky enough to grab a great partner. Yeah, that... no. Wooden. And that how'd you good. do? <laughs> oh, you know, we were three and two. I was. I felt like I threw like trash. I don't understand what it is, man. I get to these nationals and all of a sudden I forget how to throw the bag straight. It's crazy, bro. Yeah. It's crazy. I don't know. It's not even nerves, but it's nerves. I don't get it. I don't get it, man. I come out here. I, I just threw, I just threw this morning or this afternoon or whenever I was practicing out here. I threw, I threw, uh, I, I did like a deck around and I had in that deck around where, you know, that's 10, 10, you know, it's down and back 10 times or five yeah. times, whatever you want to call it. And I had six of them were four baggers and, and three of them were tens and one was a nine. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> so I, I don't, I don't understand it. Don't it's not it. a game situation. You've got no stress. You've got That's no true. pressure. You're just That's throwing, true. you know, I, I, That's true. a lot of people call themselves the down and back Kings. But back in the day, I was the true down and back king you know, <laughs> What's that i'm a, down and I'm back a game? four bagger every time i down and back and then once the That's game starts about. giving up a four <laughs> dang up man. on yeah. the first on the first down That's oh crazy. yeah it, saw, it's, it is though it is how it goes i saw a funny meme today because you know last night um was the oscars and they had that Will Smith slap chris rock ordeal that happened and it's been all over facebook all over the internet today um but I saw a funny meme that was made, and it had uh, the caption on Will Smith was, uh, "I'm not, no." There was a caption on Chris Rock. Partner says, "Pick me up after giving up a five on the first throw," <laughs> and then the <laughs> other one says, "Partner with the slap." Uh, that <laughs> that was a that was a good one. Happens a lot. Happens a lot. April, so do you have – I don't know if we've asked this question to anybody else, but you've been in the game. You've been a pro for four years. Do you have a favorite player? Because, of course, I everybody knows who my favorite player is and my Rosie wife plays. Shaker. Yeah, see, even – do you have a favorite <laughs> player uh, I don't. In, in this game of Cornell? Not at all, none. I, mean, I don't. Nobody that you like to watch, no shots that you like to see. I mean, nothing, nobody. No, and you know this, but when I'm done playing cornhole, I don't even want to be in the room with cornhole. I want to go and explore everything outside of where we're playing. So I don't even know who throws what. I don't care. I don't watch. I try not to watch the um, events that they tape. Careful. You don't need to get fined. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Now they want us all to be there, but I've been there so many times and so many new people haven't been. So I try to let them get in there and see. I mean, I've been on the broadcast before, so I know what's going on. Is so. that a thing? So if you're an ACL pro, um, well, I'm sure they want you to be there. They want the stands event. full. So yeah. it doesn't really matter how they get them full. They want them full. So that, of course they want us there. Yeah. I mean, the sponsors, the the, the viewership, you know, when they are watching on TV, they want to see uh, full stands. And really, that it's only us to fill it because they mm -hmm. haven't figured out kind of like the fan element yet. They haven't figured out how to bring the fans in to put them in these stands. Mm -hmm. But I really do think they're working on that to figure out how to get the fans in the stands. So it won't always be on us. But currently, I mean, when you have 256 plus 64, you got quite a few that can fill those seats up. So they're not a bunch of empty seat suit fans, you know what I'm saying? Well, I bet so. you the ACL is at a point right now. I mean, 
It's been on ESPN enough. I think enough people have seen it, or you could get enough curiosity at some of these cities to where people might pay 10 to 20 bucks for a ticket to come in and say, hey, let me check this out, see what's going on in this old room over here, you know, whether it be at a casino or a hotel or where, wherever, you know. I'm sure some people will be curious and want to come out and see some of these people they've seen on ESPN. I mean, hell, Sunday yeah. morning um, on ESPN, too, there was a replay of the Nationals, you know, from Atlantic City. So, you know, people are seeing it, and I bet people will pay. I mean, I, that's, I, I know that that's part of their, their newest marketing plan to get it to where it's a fan favorite. You know, fans are in there, and it's fans in the stands. And they're trying that a lot with this whole team's concept, too. So, mm-hmm. you know, just trying to get – trying to build a following behind something in the game. Just a new element, you know, a new, yeah. new way to, to bring in sponsors and money. So, speaking of that team's concept, who um walked away uh, at, from the Atlantic City National uh, at the top of that? I'm not exactly sure, but the standings, uh, I know our team is actually in fourth place, sitting at four, uh, six, we have two losses, three losses. So there have been eight games. So we're five and three. Five. How about you? Five and three play? right now. My team is four and four. four and and four. I've only played two games. <laughs> oh. So, so there's, a, you know, the roster is, is pretty full. I think there's somewhere around 20 people on the roster and they play 14 at a time. So you get to pick and choose, but every pro has to play at least one game in the four games that you play. So there's seven teams. It's all, it's all doubles. And there's seven of them that go against each other, you know, each, each game. So if my team played her team, we would put seven different games up there to, for the match. So whoever wins four first, you know, that's, that's who wins that, that match. Uh, and, like I said, we're five and three. Her, she's four and four. I believe there's somebody that's seven and one, but like I said, we're in we're in fourth place right now, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. Yeah, um, it's a cool concept, man. Cool concept. Uh, bringing teams to professional cornhole, and maybe that is the device that's going to push it over the top to compete with some of these bigger sport. Having these uh, what twenty man teams wearing the same jerseys and you know, but they need more of it on TV because I haven't seen it on TV yet. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that's. I don't know what they're doing with that because that is definitely, you know, and and I can tell you that it seems to be we've we've done teams at two different times of the day. Um, the first time we did teams, we did it. We started it in the morning. And it, it warmed us up for doubles. Doubles came after teams. Well, this time in Atlantic City, they did doubles first and teams afterward. Well, some of the people that were in doubles and did terrible, they decided they weren't staying for teams and they left. Mm. They didn't even come back, didn't even play teams because I think teams is kind of like a loose warm-up for everything. You know, it took the place of Crew Cup, and you know what Crew Cup is like. Yeah. You know, crew cup is where four people are throwing and, and you're alternating bags and you're having a blast. You're just getting to know whoever you're having a good time. And really that's what teams is too. You just kind of have a good time. You get to play with maybe a new guy or whatever. You just, you just get a new dynamic and, and putting it after doubles when people are just distraught, they went, Oh, and two, one and two, two and two, whatever. They just, they, they didn't stay. There was a, a number of pros who were like, I'm out. I'm, I'm not sticking around for this. Man, so. they they got to do that first to keep that from happening. Use yeah, use teams as a warm up, you know. Right. Cuz right. I mean, it's a good concept. Stacy had but... a reason for it. I don't know what the reason was. I I didn't really I didn't buy into it. I just did what the schedule told me to. Yeah. But uh, I think they kind of yeah. learned. I don't know, and maybe Stacy's like I don't care. You know, cuz sometimes he gets that way mm-hmm. and and maybe he's like I don't care. I want to do it this way anyway. So but I got another question for April. Uh, so I, I know we do go to these different places and we've had some opportunity to go to some great places. We went to the open out there at uh, Mount Rushmore and we've gone to different opens and different nationals and different places where you've been able to 
to explore and find some cool things, statues and, and pennies and patches and, and magnets and all the things that you've been able to go and collect. What we got Salt Lake city coming up. It's a, it's a pretty cool city. Have you done any research to figure out what your task is going to be, where you're going to be exploring, what you're going to be finding? Uh, anything like that? Do you, do you know what landmarks are there? Do you know what you're going to explore? Do you realize I'm going to take a second wife? Those are the only things that <laughs> I want to know the answers to. <laughs> okay, one, yes, I realize that you want a second wife there. <laughs> Two, I've done a little bit of research. Um, in Vegas, I talked to Emily Littlewood because they live out that way to see what they thought was touristy worth. And she told me I definitely need to go see the mountains. So that's all I've got right now. I've looked around and it doesn't seem like there's too much in Salt Lake, but we're not actually gonna be in Salt Lake. So we'll see, we're a little bit out of the city limits. So I'm gonna have to look around and see if I can find something. I don't know. I've already got a list of all the justice of the peace. So I'll be, uh... <laughs> you know, yeah, what... I know when I get done that, you know me, I'm be out. So especially if we have a car, I'll be gone. <laughs> Not waiting for anybody to go explore with me this time. You know, what's funny is I don't really know if Rob's kidding or not. <laughs> 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 I can assure you I'm not. I've been talking about this for about 20, uh, I say 28 years or so, right? Well, first I mean, wife, um, we're going to get, we're going to get a number one tattooed on April. So everybody knows she's first wife. But, isn't, you know, isn't yeah. Nevada, I'm sorry, Utah, like one of those states where you can do that. Like the, the more. Yeah, that's why there. he's planning it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, why just one? Get you three or four. I don't, I can't handle more than two. I'm good with two. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't been real good at handling one, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, well, how, when is that? <laughs> when is the Salt Lake uh, National? Or, no, I'm sorry, that's first open, weekend, right? First weekend in May. It's a national, yeah. Oh, it is a, a national. national. It's a third national, yeah. Oh, so they have a national. Uh, like, is there an open in between that? In between these two oh, nationals? Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. no oh, there's oh. No open. Oh yeah, Rhode Island. Yeah. I think Rhode Island is in a couple. Yeah, of Rhode days. Island, like April, the weekend after Easter is Rhode Island, right? No, yeah. for sure. Yeah, April, get him on his shit. He needs somebody to call him out. <laughs> <laughs> um, call him out how? What's talking that, about? She just corrected you. You you were wrong. Oh, you were wrong. No. Who was wrong, April? You you said there were no opens in between. She said I it said again. there was no opens. Uh huh. Who was wrong, Mike? Wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> Laura, did you just hear what happened? Yeah. Don't yeah. call on me. I'm nobody's referee. But no. <laughs> TBL. We will refer back to this later on when we're done because I do know. Um, I said there. Is there any opens? In between the nationals, Rob said no. Then no, April, April said yes. Said no. I, yes. No. I said no. What? What? <laughs> I said no, and, and then, then Rob I, said yes to I Rhode Island. Of... Yeah, I no, just said. I awkward. just said. What? I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna bet some money on some with somebody here <laughs> at this table. April said no. There aren't any. All right, we'll refer back to this later. Rob and then said, said yes, oh, yeah. and April said no. I assumed April I was no. right, and then April corrected herself and said there's an open in Rhode Island. Yes. You're welcome. And then I told you what date it was. There's a bunch of lies going on here, and I know Will Smith did not <laughs> just slap you. me. It's <laughs> all from you. <laughs> all the lies are coming from you. The producer just told you everything that needed to all right, be said. So I don't understand. Where are we TBL, at the you're the bomb video. again. Oh, where are we at? at 31 minutes. <laughs> at 31 minutes. Okay. So uh, when I'm editing this. What I'm else do you want sure. to know? Hey, let's, let's ask April some more questions, Mike. What's, let, let's hear one you got. I want to hear what's one of the most annoying things Rob does around the house. What's <laughs> one of his most annoying <laughs> characteristics? It's snoring. Wait, 
besides snoring, it's having an alarm set at <laughs> seven o'clock on the weekends when I don't have to get up. <laughs> See, Mike. When I ask stuff like, what's wrong with me? And not much is my answer. That's the truth. Snoring and alarms. That's it. That's the most annoying thing. Oh, no, I no. Do. Oh, no, oh, no. That, no. Was, <laughs> that was the worst one. <laughs> and there's other stuff, you know, not picking up your dirty clothes and leaving empty bottles around, Coke bottles around the house. And <laughs> I don't drink Coke. All right. <laughs> Root beer bottles. <laughs> You see why I need a second wife, Mike? To pick up your root beer bottles. Shut <laughs> <laughs> off my alarm. But you why know, do you need good a, stuff? All good stuff. Why do you need an alarm at, for seven a.m. on weekends? I, yeah. oh, I did that accidentally. Turn them off. Oh, you just don't turn them off. You know, you can just yeah. say like Alexa, set my alarm for Monday through Friday at seven a.m. And boom, I it's have done. Siri. You Siri will do it too, <laughs> but <laughs> it's a quick fix, man. It's like uh, ten seconds. Oh, or I just shut them off. No, it's you, even slower or you even could, faster when I just shut them off myself. Well, I'm gonna ask you the same question, Rob. What does April do around the house that it's one of your pet peeves? I don't really have I, like so since a peeve is kind of negative, I choose not to keep any of them as pets. <laughs> Jesus, that was so cheesy. <laughs> I'm just telling you the truth. I don't really have a whole lot of. I would never keep Miss Pets. They're really annoying. So I, I, I don't really have a whole lot. There's not too much that she does that's super annoying. That's a weird I mean, word. Like, why is it? It's a negative thing, like you said. But why is it called a pit? I don't. I don't know. That. You're the one who told you. I, I don't. But I don't now keep I Miss Pets. Now I'm just dissecting I, the word. I take them to the shelter, bro. I take them to the shelter. I ain't messing around with no pet peeves, bro. Uh-uh. Don't nope. say that, they boy. Bite. You have Laura and arms <laughs> over here talking about taking it's pets no to kill. shelters. It's a no-kill shelter. I mean, come on. Yeah. I don't want no peeves in my house, bro. They, they wet the carpet. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know what to do with you, Rob. Good God. <laughs> Get a litter box for your Listen. pet peeves. <laughs> God, this, this is so he cringy. It. Huh? I said he wouldn't change it. Be That'd be another annoying thing. It'd be another. <laughs> we got kids. What the hell? We have kids. How are your didn't kids? Do it when they lived here. Oh, yeah, you're, you're, that's right. Your kids are grown out of the house. Twenty-seven. One and still lives here. Oh yeah. One still lives here. So oh, well. you see April's jersey, right? So April designs a jersey every single year for autism awareness because it's a monster cause that she's behind because Mm -hmm. of our son our son is is autistic he's um he really didn't get diagnosed until he was like 15 years old i mean we didn't get a true diagnosis but uh since then and really before that april's been a a huge supporter of autism awareness and this is this year's jersey right here. It's the be kind version. And my son, hey. he's uh, he's the guy who actually does all the design for all the cool things. And uh, we're about to put out the, the bags that go with this jersey uh, in the next couple of days because April is Autism Awareness Month. March is what what is March is like Women's Month, right? So we got April on in March, and in April is Autism Awareness Month. So. We're going to release her bags and, and probably give out, you know, sell a limited number of sets for anybody who's looking to support autism awareness. We'll give some of the proceeds back, of course, to charity of her choice. We set up two studios today, Mike. How do you like that? You like our second studio, the Angry Birds studio? I'm, I'm digging Mike, it. I'm really I might digging that bed sheet, that the Angry one. Birds. <laughs> <laughs> I might switch to that, but I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> so, yeah, April, talk about um, your connection to autism awareness and, and why. <laughs> because this usually makes you cry and that gets ratings. <laughs> <laughs> now you're seeing the big picture, Rob. Yes. <laughs> he does this. More to me tears, all the, time. the better. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Well, he already told you the backstory. Our son yeah. is autistic. Mm-hmm. Um, we didn't know what was going on with him. He was three. He wasn't talking. He was, you know, he had an older sister. Doctor's like, well, it's just his sister talking for him. But we had him tested. He could hear everything. So every six months or so, he's been, he got tested He when he was in school. And every time he had gains and stuff. So he's been in a, um, like the ESE world since he was three. Um, he didn't actually get his diagnosis until he was in high school. Um, when he was in junior high, his speech teacher said, hey, have you ever heard of Asperger's? I was like, no. And of course, I went home and looked it up and it described him to a T. So I have her to thank for that. Um, so after that, we started pushing more for more testing and um, finally went outside of the school and got his actual autism diagnosis. Um, so that's when that happened. And then now, like you said, he works for board men and doing designs and stuff. And for the past four years, we've done uh, autism awareness um, cornhole board. And then every year I've done a jersey to go with the autism um, I think I like this one the best so far. Last year was like some lollipops. Um, it was okay, just not really what I was looking for, but everybody sees them and they're like, that is the best jersey ever. And um, I've seen people wearing my jersey, so <laughs> that's cool. I'm super happy for it. Um, no tears this time, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, go get an onion, or something. Go get an onion. I got one on the counter. I got I got some cooking to do after this. Let her smell your. That's armpits. one of the most. Smell like Mike, seafood. that's one of the most annoying things. I always have to cook. That's oh why yeah. I'm getting a second wife. That's what? why I'm getting a second wife. I'm getting a chef for a second wife. April, is he a better <laughs> cook than you? Absolutely. If she doesn't tell the truth. <laughs> So I work in a cafeteria elementary school and I am around food all day. So I hate to come home and cook. I like to bake, but I hate cooking. (laughs) So So I do easy stuff and then we always do nachos because I could eat Mexican every night of the week. Oh God. Um, Yes. But if he doesn't want Mexican, then I'm like, okay, well figure out something and you cook. Um, He's a big meat eater. So we have steak at least once a week it seems like and nachos at least once a week um but i just you know if he's he was when he was doing construction he didn't want to come home and work on the house so i don't want to come home and cook food after i've been cooking all day or you know washing dishes all day or whatever oh i totally get that yeah you're on a computer at work all day you don't want to come home and get on your computer but right. I didn't hear her answer the question, Mike. I didn't hear her answer the question. Uh, I believe there was a very specific question, Mike, and I would really like to hear the answer right yeah, here. She did in front of, of the entire it. world, all the millions and millions of viewers that we have. I'd really like to hear her answer that question, Mike. So if you'd ask it again one more time, it'd be great. So April, um, who does all yeah. the cooking around the house? Oh, well, that was almost not, no, that, that's the question. No, <laughs> Thanks, TBL. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, is he a better cook than you, April? He probably is a better cook than me. Because I just, I just <laughs> don't care. Because you just make enough. nachos and steak. <laughs> <laughs> no, he has some good stuff. He, um, When he's feeling creative, he'll look up some recipes and go to the store and buy stuff. And he actually makes pretty good food. But Speaking of pretty good food, I'm, do they still make that? big pizza in the grade schools that I had when I was in grade school. Oh, it, we used man. to call it Fiesta. Big old rectangle? Yeah. The rectangle the pizza. Giant yeah. pizza, yeah. They're, everybody asked me that. That's funny. But we <laughs> still have delicious. rectangle pizza, oh. but it's not as good as it used to be because of the whole Obama whole wheat stuff. and so. Michelle went crazy on school oh, lunches, dude. They're like not flavorful anymore. 
No, I don't. I don't know. I don't know why she did it, but like everything is like gluten free whole wheat. How can that even be? <laughs> that's not even a thing. You can't be whole wheat and gluten free, but that's what it is, bro. It's like it's not it's cardboard. <laughs> I know, but it is cardboard with a little bit of sauce. Del- oh yeah, I don't. I couldn't <laughs> answer any questions about that food, but I know that rectangle pizza was delicious, and it was responsible oh, man, it was. for me being a fat kid when I was growing up. <laughs> that's the problem right yeah. only pizza which was wednesday wednesday was pizza day for us back in yeah. my day Ooh, I, in, I in elementary friday school and high us. school friday uh, I, that's awesome i think it was wednesday for us too but i i don't know i'd have to like consult with some grade school friends of mine to actually <laughs> pay attention to that shit i know i used to just walk around not beg but i would ask all the girls for their pizza because it was the girls were the <laughs> ones that would give it away you know, I'd ask them for the well, Mike, for the pizza. Mike, if you had nuts. my flirting ability, they would have given you their pizza with no problem. <laughs> if I'd have had your flirting ab- ability, I would have been 300 pounds in fifth grade. <laughs> I'd have got all the pizza. you damn right you would have. <laughs> Laura, what was your favorite? Tell them, TBL. Um, your favorite grade school food? I don't know. It was probably the, the pizza, but I remember... Um... I, I sometime in high school, I don't know, maybe my county came into a little bit of money and they replaced the rectangle pizza with stuffed crust pizza. And I remember oh that being gosh. really good. Bougie. Oh my. Well, I forgot. That's probably in what the late nineties. My um, daughter loved that Italian was in 2007 Italian was when I was a senior. Oh Jesus. Oh yeah. So yeah. Italian Dunker is a favorite now and we do have stuffed crust pizza spoiled oh my gosh we only <laughs> that have... does sound spoiled yeah i mean we had cheeseburgers we didn't even have crust on our pizza bro we didn't even have crust <laughs> yeah, on there our was pizza. no crust <laughs> <laughs> good point we had those <laughs> shitty cheeseburgers too they were cold oh and when you God. take the top bun off like the cheese is stuck to like, the bun and the bird to like, it <laughs> welded together Oh my god. god! Yeah. Oh, school lunch! I gotta go see April tomorrow. Just eat some school lunch. <laughs> it's not the no, same. Tomorrow's lunch. meatloaf. The chocolate sandwich. milk doesn't even taste good. Oh my god, meatloaf! It's just not, not the same. Though. Meatloaf sandwich. A meatloaf they sandwich. Kind of bread they put that on. Yeah, that's what she said. How's that healthy? On a bun with cheese. Oh my gosh, these poor kids these days. It actually tastes pretty good. <laughs> It's got peppers and onions in it. Mm. So let's give them gas too while we're at it. <laughs> <laughs> All no right. <shades. laughs> Rob, you got anything else, man? I mean, you know, again, just like every, every other guest, I really appreciate you coming on. It's uh, crazy. You've been in the house all this time, and it's awesome. It's Women's Month, and we have you on here. I appreciate you coming on. It's Definitely an honor to have you on here. I hope you got everything out that you wanted to talk about. Uh, is there anything that you'd like to talk about? Any sponsors you'd like to mention? Um, you know, take a few minutes and, and talk about them if you would. Well, I don't really have any sponsors this year. Nobody wanted to pick me up. Um, Not even board man? So, well, you know, they're just kind of default. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Ah, default, I mean, Mike. Uh, default. Thanks, no. Mike. Great question. Well, I didn't have any <laughs> any bag sponsors because Maya already has a bag sponsor, and then Melissa, my pro doubles partner, didn't want a bag sponsor, so she could throw whatever. So nobody really wanted just to sponsor me for singles. So I was like, well, I'll throw my favorite boardman bags anyway. So, um, but I do have a local sponsor. They're Mystic Cornhole. And it's these two amazing ladies, and they do cornhole boards. Um, they've done some for Duval County Schools. They do wedding ones. They've done some for the military base. And then they do this awesome, like, beach art type stuff, shells and um, seahorses. Seahorses. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they're really cool. Um, we've known them about three or four years now um we've run the special olympics um cornhole tournament with them for the past three years 
So if you're local in Jacksonville, check them out. Um, and then I'm also kind of sponsored by Girls Throw 2. Nothing money, but, you know, they put me on their um, website and helped me out with some other stuff. So that's about it. Awesome sauce. Yeah, Girls Throw 2. We had them on the show a while back. A um, couple of cool yep. ladies right there. Yep. Yeah, so if anybody's got extra money laying around that, you know, they need to get rid of, I'll be glad to take some of it. You gotta, I don't need big chunks, just enough for a plane ticket here or there or a hotel room. <laughs> where um, can people send this money to? <laughs> <laughs> they can just contact me, April Just Mark, either on Facebook um, or ACL Pro April Just Mark on Facebook. Or I'm sure they can send it directly to Rob Chismark. He would love every penny of that, literally. So Yeah, but he just gives it to me because I'm the one who purchases the stuff anyway. <laughs> really? Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn, Rob. What, bro? What? She, she's running running the show behind the scenes, too? Look at this. First wife. <laughs> <laughs> they, they get a lot of responsibility, those first wives. I can see that. As long as I don't have to cook, I'm fine. <laughs> Rob makes those killer nachos and steak, so it's all good. I don't make the nachos. She makes the nachos. I make all the good food. What, what's your specialty <laughs> dish? Nachos is good for me. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I, I make so many things. Like I, I'll, like she said, man. When I I get a I get this I get this wild hair where I want to eat something. I'm really good at at euros at home where I go and get the lamb and I get the beef and I make the euro loaf and then to cut it all, you know, and bake it, and cut mm -hmm. it all up. And, and we make euros at home. I'm really good at that. Uh, that's one of my favorites that I do. Um, I do some, some pretty good different chickens, different ways, you know, uh, just some cream sauce. Like I do some crazy stuff where I just, I make up the sauce uh, for the chicken I just, I don't know. I just, I just do crazy stuff. I just like to have good food. I like, I like it to taste good. Like she said, I'm a meat eater. So I do a lot of proteins uh, and I just try to do it, try to do it to where it tastes delicious, you know, and it's not super, you know, I, I can't really have tons of carbs. I'm type two diabetic. So mm -hmm. I just try to play with everything and, and make it right. Still saucy, but no carbs. That's just the way I like to do it. Saucy, no carbs. Yeah, it's got to yeah. taste good, right? I, I'm a hot sauce guy. I there, I haven't met a hot sauce I don't like. Well, I, yeah, I take that back because the older I get, the <clears throat> less inept I am to hotter hot sauces. Like, they burn me up, man, like to the point where I just can't <laughs> deal with it. So I quit doing, like, the challenge-type hot sauces. <laughs> um, yeah i can't man and plus it hurts coming out bro like it'll remind you two days later hey guess what i'm still hiding out you here <laughs> here i am you had yeah. me <laughs> that's yeah. awesome uh but yeah I'm, I'm the same way man eat lots of meat and uh i just started this like eating a salad a day thing i don't eat pasta yep. uh I sinned and ate pizza this weekend. I shouldn't have ate the pizza, but damn, it was. And it was mediocre pizza, too. It was California Pizza Kitchen. And I expected oh their gosh. pizza to be better, and it was pretty trash. Pretty trash. Yeah, you got to find you gotta find a mom and pop, man, where the door creaks when you open it, bro. You know? Yeah. Only yeah. have takeout. Nothing you can eat inside. Got to have only takeout pizza, man. And then we Big ate crust, Mexican. Thick crust, whatever it is. Yeah, I mean, I love pizza, don't get me wrong. But God, it's just so damn bad for you. Back when <laughs> yeah. I was younger, I could eat that shit and not worry about do, gaining you gotta the You got to put fruit on it, man. If you put fruit on the pizza. <laughs> California style, bro, better. pineapples. That's the way I do it. That's Hawaiian. I, I thought it's uh, you, you bubbed it. Oh, you're right. Whoops. She's <laughs> the best. TBL coming through. Oh, Truth man. again. <laughs> Anytime she could catch me stumbling, she's right there. I feel like uh, you stumble a lot. Your knees are all bruised. I mean, I feel like you stumble a lot. No, your knees are bruised, not mine. But we're not no, going to ask. Not mine. <laughs> no, not mine. I told you, second wife. 
wife. Watch your mouth. <laughs> well, look, good luck on getting that other wife, and I hope uh, she April endorsed it. I mean, what the hell? The other wife. So, well, April, thanks hey, for joining one us. One last thing I have to deal with. <laughs> oh God, she's like another wife would <laughs> give her a break. Amen. Uh, well, okay. I got to come around though. <laughs> I want to. So when you get to Salt Lake. When you find your candidates, send me pictures of them. I want to see them. Want... You get to you get to judge. You get yeah, to I want judge. To, I want to judge. I want to I want to be like I want to play a little part Pick of that the, one. This decision <laughs> here for your next for your second wife. Pick that one. She's gonna be our our once once it happens. She's gonna be a show guest. You got to get her on the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can ask all those same questions. You can uh, ask what's annoying. You can ask. How how she ever hooked up with me? I, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. She's not going to know right away what's annoying. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> well, Rob's going to get her drunk anyway, so it's all good. What? I'm not going to have to do that. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, April, thanks for joining Which us stuff? on the Sticky Side. We appreciate you all being right. here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> all right, that's Rob. I'm Mike. And this is Sticky Side. We'll see you next time. Hey, huh? get all of your cornhole needs from BoardmanCornhole.com. <laughs> we are there. We've got boards, bags, beautiful jerseys. Check out the autism jersey from this year. And uh, starting probably tomorrow or maybe the next day, we're going to have uh, the bags that go with that jersey. So we'll have the autism awareness bags out too. So check us out, BoardmanCornhole.com. Hey, also, we've got on, ba-ba-boom, uh, where's the date? Damn it, June 25th, 26th, we got the Sweet Willie's $10,000 Captain Crazy's Battle of the Bags in Emerald Isle, North Carolina. It's going to be $50 for singles and $100 for teams. It's going to be a two-day event. Make sure you check us out. Uh, scan the QR code you see on the screen right there to take you right to the website, and you will be able to register for this event once again, that's going to be on June 25th and 26th. All right. Until next time, throw them straight. We'll see you later. Hang out at the local bar, going back in the hole like we have in